End of the road. Hey. Festival. <laughs> cool. So you're at, are you here for the weekend then? Hell yeah. You're hanging out. Thursday to Monday, baby. Wow. My favourite festival um, anyway as punters mm. like mm. playing. So yeah, yeah, we're here for the long run. And you're going to go and see Golden Dregs in a minute. Golden Dregs. Yeah, they're good pals, bars. Yeah. Smooth. Are they a good band? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're pretty shit. <laughs> no, they're great. They've got yeah. a good show. They've, they've got great attitude about them. And, right. Yeah. So, opening up the garden stage today. Have you seen anything good so far? Yesterday? Who did um, we see yesterday? And the day before. So Stereo Lab on Thursday night. Um, yesterday we watched Modern Woman. Jack got a cool new t-shirt. Who else did we see? that guy Johnny Dinnan. Oh yeah, he was great, amazing. The Irish guitarist. Yeah, he was great. Damon Johnny Alden. Dillon. Johnny Dillon, yeah. Kind no like... vocals, just acoustic guitar. Yeah. Great, really great, kind of great mid-tune chat. Mid-tune chat, yeah, that's what you need. In-between tune chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in-between song chat. Yeah, yeah, that's always, that's always yeah. a good thing. Damon Alban, special as well. Yeah. So uh, you're playing... Um, uh, today, uh, three forty-five. You played it before, I take it. We played it, yeah, a few years ago. Wasn't on last year, obviously. Yeah, two thousand eighteen. Big yeah. top. That was like one of our first kind of well, big shows that we'd ever done as a band. So yeah, was, yeah. Again, like we loved the festival anyway, so that was really special for us. Yeah, it's good to be back, man. Yeah, it's a nice vibe, isn't it? I mean, I've, I've been here in a different festival, yeah, but it's a nice sight. Well, I've heard lots of good things about it. It's great, Obviously, man. the music's great, but it's kind of quite friendly and mm. there's yeah. no not much litter, which is great. I love that. Yeah, everyone's really respectful and yeah. I, I love how small it is as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can bop up, you can do the hot, you know, if you want to be how at a band, it, it takes you like, like a minute yeah. to go. Then. Yeah, it's, it's a nice... It's your first time here, did you say? For this particular festival, wow. yeah. I know, it's it's terrible, isn't it? It's rubbish. Have you fallen in Because the music it? is, it's kind of my thing, you know? You yeah, know, I'm dry cleaning. I, I would like to see again. <laughs> um, Drugstore Romeo. Are they? I've heard a bit about them. Yeah. Uh, who else is on my list? Head Oglet, is it? Head uh, Richard Dawson's band. Mm. They're clashing with us. Are they? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Our first two songs. Yeah. Have to over. But he's playing on Sunday, right? No, yeah. he's playing on his own on Sunday. I think. Yeah. So you should come see us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Him on his own so there's quite a few things I want to see. Um, so obviously you want to go off and see Golden Drag suit. Yeah. So um, good it's, it's good to see you in action again. Obviously lockdown, COVID, everything's put up a bit of a uh, kibosh, if that's the right word, yeah. on things for a while. But you've just released a second song, haven't you? Ice Gems, mm. yeah. which I was just watching today. Beautiful video. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely song. Really nice song. Yeah. It's got a kind of a lo fi ish kind of feel to it. That's cool. Yeah. Is that cool? Can yeah. I say that? Yeah. Say yeah. that. Yeah. We kind of, um, we wanted to go a bit more hi fi on this record actually, so uh, maybe we did it wrong. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm anyway, I'm, uh, <laughs> you've got me there. <laughs> I was listening to my laptop. Come on, give me a break. Um, no, I think Ice Gems out of all It's not lo fi, but it's got a, it's got a, fairly kind of minimalist cool. kind of vibe to it you know yeah i think out of all the songs on the record the new record that's kind of a more like minimal we went more electronic with that song for the yeah. first time as a band as well yeah and like we got like henry in the band now and he had just a really cool little like little moments in that song like we had we were playing with like synths a lot more mm. on the right. album yeah and like henry he yeah, downloaded was that, that moog app didn't he yeah yeah moog put there one of their like synth apps out for free. All right. And yeah, just ended up, yeah, just messing around with it, and it sort of, yeah, it, it was a bit of a joke. It, it was a bit of a joke, yeah. But we were like, we can't recreate this any yeah. better than how this app has done it. So the app needs to be part of this song. <laughs> Big up Moog. Well, it, is, it was genuine Moog like synth though, isn't it? It's not yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. It's got all the oscillators and everything. Yeah. Um, it's obviously not like the massive things that you have to get in every truck. Yeah. And spend an hour a day probably setting yeah. up and yeah. It was fun experimenting around with more electronic thing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the video's out, we've got like another few singles coming out mm. like in the next like over the next couple of months. And the record's out on the fifth of November. Yeah. So, yeah. Second album on Bella Union. Yeah. Which is uh the your debut came out with them a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? Yeah. Um Simon Raymond's 
label is he here he, i think there was rumors that he was around i'm yeah. not sure apparently he might make an appearance yeah apparently secret set copter twins apparently. <laughs> oh, wow. That's something, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, apparently. That's what I heard. If you know, let me know. I think it was like Please. Justin Bieber and Cocktail Twins. <laughs> <laughs> <I love> it. <laughs> <laughs> On stage at the same time. Yeah, yeah. collaboration. Uh, screw Elizabeth Fraser. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> obviously, you live in Brighton. Came from the Isle of Man. Jack and Lily and Henry, not from the Isle of Man, I'm, I take it. I'm from London. You're from London. Yeah, these these yeah. guys are yeah. from The Rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm from The Rock. I met Henry like about 10 years ago. We studied together yeah. in Falmouth. In right, Cornwall. okay. Um, so yeah, a lot of our friendship group is kind of formed from those days down yeah. in Cornwall. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, like that's where we met the Golden Dregs, Ben mm. and the Golden Dregs from down there. And yeah, like Holiday Ghosts, they're not playing this year, but like they're all from down mm. there. And, little community of us that yeah. stuck together yeah it's second album did you how, how did you make this one was it all done in-house again because i think you did the first one pretty much in the belly union kind of yeah uh, yeah we studios. did it all ourselves again man yeah. like we kind of i think we've been touring so much like for the like touring in the first album yeah i think we were just well ready to get in the studio again and mm. so we actually we rented a little cottage in cornwall Right. But it was like the same week that the whole world went into isolation. Okay. But we were just like, this is sweet because we timed it. You know, mm. we'd literally just been touring forever. Yeah. And then it was like, right, let's. We planned on isolating anyway. So you had your own we, little bubble anyway. Yeah, man. And we yeah. just bought all our gear and all the studio down to this little cottage. And yeah, we just set up camp there and just like made the bulk of the record down there. Right, and okay. finished it off in Brighton, basically. Yeah. yeah. But then we collaborated with Dave Fridman, um, who's like a. I don't know if you know him, you heard it. He does all yeah. like the Flaming Lips stuff. Yeah. And he's worked like MGMT and mm. made some great records. So he mixed the record. Okay. Which really like added a whole new kind of. Yeah, it changed it up massively. So mm. I think it was important for us. Yeah. He kind of raised the bar a little bit for the you sound, think so? which I think he's helped us with. Yeah. Production wise or just, um, just a, di a different maybe vibe or feel or something? Or... Yeah, I would say like. Just quality of make it a little bit more high five as opposed to low five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works on both levels, yeah. trust me. <laughs> yeah, you just just to have like another pair of ears as well, but like experienced yeah. ears. Yeah, he very it's much quite interesting, like some of the sort decisions. of decisions he made yeah. in the mixing of it. Yeah, it's more... stuff we wouldn't have really, you know, thought. No. Oh so, yeah, like it was a head fuck. Like he would throw mix back at us, and we'd just be like, our brains like break listening to them because yeah. we've lived in in that world yeah. for like you know five months or something making these songs, and then somebody just like completely and utterly just breaks it apart. And he did quite a lot of stuff that like at first we just didn't like just because we were so mm. used to them. Yeah, but kind of had to like take us remove ourselves out of our heads and our ears and listen to it. Like, yeah, know, that's what that's what um, producers stroke engineer or sure. mixing guys are, are, are good for sometimes definitely because you're kind of so in your bubble yeah that i think it's... we needed it to be honest it was yeah. pretty horrible at first but like yeah you know, it was yeah. quite like, what the hell are you doing totally. <laughs> this is my music man yeah. <laughs> but it was exactly it was a collaboration like we we went in with it like knowing it was a collaboration at the yeah. end of the day like do you know what i mean we wanted him to do his thing because he that's why he's good yeah. you know what i mean yeah so, cool yeah we're happy with it yeah so the second album coming out in November, and then you're fireworks doing uh, fireworks night. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, it's the Brian. same as the ABBA, um, the the best of ABBA. Like apparently, they're dropping that on the fifth of November. I've heard about so that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ABBA back. Can you believe it? ABBA are back. Maybe Might be able to see them virtually as well at one point. Have Some kind of virtual tour yeah. they're organizing. Holograms. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they're going to look like they were when they were 30. Or 40. Yeah, that's the reason why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. And then Resident on the same day, is it? Yeah, we're playing, doing an in-store tour. Yeah. Um, on the 5th at Resident Records and on the 6th that was Trade. Yeah. I think on the 8th at Drift in Totnes. Do you know Drift Records? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I think on the 9th at 
pine vinyl in Portsmouth. But, but yeah, little in-store tour. There's tickets are on sale now for that. Yeah. Can... But yeah, we got loads of dates in November and December. I saw your UK tour yeah. dates, yeah. Finishing at the Concord, is that yeah. right? I'm a 10. Yeah. Hometown gig at the Concord. Just... Hometown gig, yeah. I, I, Exciting. I guess you haven't done a Brighton gig for a while, or have you? Our last Brighton gig was at Chalk. Yeah, before the pandemic, man. So that was... No, nah, it was like... A year and a half, two years ago? Yeah, it was over two years ago now, yeah. Wow. So hopefully Concord will be a nice big, like... It's a little step up, because we got um, a little bigger capacity. And we got Holiday Ghost, with our mates. Right. And they're supporting, and also this new band from Brighton called Laundromat. You heard of, come across heard of them, yeah, yeah. Fucking ace, man. They're yeah. like my new yeah. favourite band. Um, okay. And they're all really sweet dudes, so we're... They're all playing like laundry a, mat, laundromat, laundromat, like the um American, yeah, it's like dry cleaning and laundromat, yeah. And they've got the there's same a, sound thing going on, which I think is hilarious. That is so man, funny. laundromat and dry cleaning. Oh my god, I've noticed that. <laughs> He's a very clean dude, like, yeah, his clothes are like, yeah, fresh. yeah. <laughs> um, have you done any gigs before this one today? Did a socially <laughs> distant tour, didn't we? The other mm. few months ago. Right. So, yeah. When we were, when like, I think we were one of the first bands to go out. Our agent was like, "Do you want to do this tour?" And we're like, "Yes, please, anything." I think like, when gigs were starting up again, and everyone was like, you know, it was all seated. We had to book like a table of six. And, mm. like, did that? Cool. Is it right? Yeah, it was cool. It was weird. I think like because we had a new lineup as well. Yeah. We got a new like drummer as well. Like. Um, it was it was weird all round because we were like trying to gel as a band, like learn you know learn loads of new songs, and then you had the aspect of it being like weird. Yeah. You know, it was like yeah, like a jazz bar in New York. Like everyone was like all right. seats and that. Yeah, I never I never tried a socially distanced gig. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine like you know going to a cabaret, like, mm. a, like a cabaret mm. kind of show. Or something yeah, like it, that. it kind of looks like show. that. It was like yeah. cabaret, Penelope Isles. Yeah, but obviously These guys that's not really... Tassels, yeah. Big old fan covering my tits. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Yeah. God. We adapted to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we did actually debate whether to adapt to the... Yeah, you know, we were wondering whether we should do like an yeah. sticky thing, like... Yeah. Down, but we just thought, you know what, people haven't seen shows in like best part of 15 mm. months we should just fucking go for it i suppose it. it's good for your you know bands sort of stage craft sort of thing mm. just to keep yeah keep, exactly. keep mm. in there as it were yeah i spoke to like a few people that have done social distance gigs and tours and they like struggle to sort of like have like a stage presence and and they're like i, ca I cannot like get into it if there's no crowd or whatever but like i think for us like we yeah. we've kind of always like no matter even when we've played to like two people like we're just like very much in our own world so i guess that's a bit we're lucky that we sort of are able to sort of yeah. separate ourselves from yeah. who's watching well it's not gonna be socially distanced today is it no very much not no. and so it's gonna Mosh be pits. quite a quite a moment i guess first kind of real rock and Big roll show, gig yeah, yeah. for a while our yeah. favorite festival you guys must be pretty excited yeah, you're gonna get pumped up by watching golden dregs yeah i was gonna say golden trucks golden there for a second. He golden started yeah now. so I'll, i will let you go but thank you very much for that and i look forward to seeing you uh, on the big top later today front row yeah Front row, of course. Uh, if I can I fight die, through the mosh. It sounds yeah. better at the back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Good, cheers, thanks Jeff, a lot. Cheers, Jeff. Good to see you, man. Jeff, yeah. yeah, cheers for sorting. All right. Cool. See you, mate. Cheers. See Thank you. you.